Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so far, we've been learning only about HTML, which is like the skeletal system of our web pages. Now, it's finally, it's finally time to learn how to make that skeletal system look attractive. So that's right, it's time to learn about CSS. Now what exactly is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and it describes how our HTML elements are to be displayed on the screen. For example, if a heading tag should have a color or if a paragraph tag should have a background color or if a table should have a dotted or a dashed border or if the font uh, style should be let's say uh, Times New Roman, if the size should be 24 or 26, well CSS is responsible for all of the above. And whenever we work with CSS, we always make use of the head section of our document. So, and to specify CSS, we make use of a pair of style tags. So in our head section, let's create a style tag and open it and close it. So style and then closing style. Now this style tag takes an attribute called type and for CSS we need to specify it to be text slash CSS. Now this whatever it goes between these this pair of style tag is going to be the CSS that is going to be applied for our web page. Now the syntax of CSS is made up of three parts. The first one is a selector and the second one is a property and the third one is a value. Now this selector is nothing but an HTML tag to which we want to apply the style and the second part right here the property this is somewhat of an attribute for the HTML tag so it can be something like a font color or a font size or the background color or the height, width, and so on. And finally, the third part, which is the value, is the value for our property. So let's say if the property is font size, we can specify it to be 24 pixel. If it is a color, we can specify something like blue or green, and you get the idea. So let's go ahead and create our very first style. Now, this selector is nothing but a tag. So we'll replace this selector with the paragraph tag. Now you don't need to include the lesser than and greater than sign when specifying CSS, just the paragraph P notation is sufficient. Now property, let's say we want our paragraph to be in the color red. So the property is going to be color and then the value is going to be red. Now let's see how to view this. In our body, let's quickly create two lines of code. So not code, but yeah, let's create two lines. The first one is, this is plain old boring text. And then let's create a paragraph. And within the paragraph, this is a super cool line with style. All right, so I have created this in a file called tutorial.html. I'm just gonna save it. And now if we open it, let's see, open it in our browser. Now, the first line is plain, plain old boring text. And the second one is the paragraph for which we have applied the style to. So the paragraph tag is going to be in red color. Now this is just the beginning of CSS and the, from the next video, let us see what are the different styles that can be applied to the various tags in HTML to make our website attractive. And let's begin by learning a bit more about this color property that we can use for HTML tags. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.